Hi guys, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Today we're doing Auradon, so um, we'll be we're not uh, doing the Thieves Guild today. We'll do it tomorrow. That's a nice one. Somerset, I have it. Okay, so the president, first of all, let's talk about jury selection. This is an area where Manhattan, roughly 84 85 percent of the vote left come around the for President Biden. How close is it going to be to get a jury you think to be neutral? I think that's a really important thing. What's this? At the end of the day, what we're talking about here is a show trial. Oh, I have it. media extravaganza in the media capital of the world where the only realistic consequence. Probably a long time ago, I scored them. I knew I had that. The Harbridge, yes, the Harbridge. Fortune did not abandon us entirely. The wild and unconstitutional gag order has 
Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Father of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. And I think ultimately the jury is going to have to weigh the credibility of the various Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyra Springs news that the agent of the enemy lurks in both your guard. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of the marker. If it is truly an agent of Menomarka's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Venture to Volkogo, speak to the fishermen, Medea, and the jungle Dirigor. It was on their lips that Lyrus first heard the troubles lurking in the shadows. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. is no true baker. This will ruin Chef Danelon for sure. Father, trust him. Sneaky, envious, sorry excuses for bakers. Father warned me to be willing, but for them to swarm like vultures right after he set sail. Oh, to prepare our renowned Jubilee cakes for the new season, of course. Apologies. I'm Moog, apprentice to my father, the patron of Pike himself, Chef Donalon. But thanks to those vultures, there may not be any cake. Is this a celebration thing? Yeah. Stay out of it for now. Excellent. Oh, excellent. I like these when I get the free shit. Kissing my fucking map. 
Israeli war cabinet is meeting, trying to determine if and how Israel will respond to this unprecedented Iranian attack overnight that included hundreds of drones and missiles. Just before the meeting began, war cabinet member Benny Gantz, the former defense minister, released a statement saying that Israel was reviewing its options and wanted to build an international coalition to respond against Iran. He also said Israel reserved the right to respond at a time and place that best suits Israel. Right now, the Israeli people are bracing for the possibility of continued attacks from Iranian proxies across the region. Remember, they are still fighting the war in Gaza. I hope you're not expecting a performance. I had to sell off my equipment and instruments just to make ends meet. Times are tough, my friend. Funny you should ask. There was an odd-looking imperial fellow in town a few days ago. He was asking about local burial grounds. Said he was trying to track down his great aunt's remains. Yeah, right. And I'm Queen Irene's Chamberlain. Take it easy. It was just a joke. I, I don't want any trouble. Listen, I saw that same Imperial with another thug down by the lighthouse. Real scary looking type. Skin as pale as a wraith. I was there. I do not see him, but this one has a keen eye. Very generous. The Imperial was very sneaky, but this one saw him slip inside the lighthouse with another man. Very thin and white, like a dead set. He did not think Kajit was watching, but this one has excellent peripheral vision. That's to go back to Uh, 
Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicide. Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. Well, that's the thing. He has Section 212 Act authority under federal law. He has seven or eight different options under federal law. Existing authority to do, frankly, what President Trump did. President Trump had control of that force because he's a strong leader. They've been demanding the White House in all of these negotiations. Do your job. Do the border. Maria, you have no job. Nine million encounters officially at the southern border since Joe Biden's been bombed. We've got two million guys with 340 plus suspects on a terrorism watch list. We have violent criminals coming. The actual number we believe is probably 16 million illegal to come into this country. And they did it. It's not acceptable. They're talking to the Republican Party, President Trump, and all of us are locked together, united, fighting for border security. The number one priority for many people because they're all national security. The the Did you speak with President Trump Friday about the Marshall Trump being I spent hours with President Trump Friday, and 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 I spent hours with President Trump Fri
and stuff. Ugh. You pretend. What have you found? Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sykes a Hold a moment. Come here. I need to... <sighs> I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Thon. Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Pegasus. The five included Varen, myself, a red guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and a traitor from Anamarka. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. Back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Menemarka who convinced Baron to search for the Amulet of Kings. Baron wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menemarko said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Baron into a true dragonborn. It took us more than two years. We finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarko set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Baron. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Plivia as Empress Regent. Manamarco was the true power behind it. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manamarco's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire. He is an anxious bastard when it comes to the family. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Thorn would never trust them. He's too much of a coward to betray them. Well, listen, some of them have admitted it to us, even on record in judiciary committee hearings, that they want to remove the vote. They've allowed in some control measures. What Congress has control is every single thing we can to secure their elections. But what can we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Saisahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Before us has been redeemed. It is both dark and twisted. Come to the harbor edge. We have an unexpected guest who demands your presence. To use the old discourse, the Kate Sizahan did not meet the success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended, and contacted Adna Khan. He admits that he knows Sizahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Our country has a spending problem. Yeah, and the spending has been inflation before your eyes. This past week, we got another inflation We meet again, Vestig. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahar. First off, let's not forget that this Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. If Manny Marco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him, I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request a sign. Do I look to be in a murky mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. 
As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Sahan is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the best in spirits. Rescue Tharn. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. an idiot no you're allowed to carry 30 grams per person without getting uh, uh, in trouble you're okay you're carrying 28 grams ma ma you're carrying 28 grams for your son just tell him you, you're going to my place it's not even yours you can test your blood for have him test your blood for weed I mean, you, you never smoke weed in your life. The only way they'll find out is if you've ever smoked any weed recently is if they test your blood. That's the only test they have. That's it. They can't tell you if you're high in driving because the test on the blood gives them a couple days reference. No, they didn't. That's crazy, man. 28, yeah. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shanty town of soul shriven outside Menemarko's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the day of the prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. What a skeever. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured.
to get my allergies back so just water from the nose man literally looks good. Uh, Maria, the, 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 the idea of not over 
be first. That is the best way. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. In a hurry though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around. <coughs> Need room on him. Cadwell. Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies stripped, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is not No the world's smallest and thinnest center, center of the Why? Underground, it's no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different place, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. The door is locked, but that's not struck me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? From deep sea quests and shallow water pursuits. That might be our best chance to get inside.
things, making everything else about my life more enjoyable. It'll regulate your natural sleep cycle, relax your body, and calm the mind for better you keep sleep. Keep up nicely. I can't abide the day. Is your very own risk-free bottle of relaxing sleep. Relaxing sleep. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion monsters. The danger I use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. I've made that feeling alert, and like I've had the best night. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated. But in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. But I can handle the tinkering, but you will have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a bomb. Are you gay? The fuck is Cadwell? Where is he? Would you get lost? One more after this one. Tell Chuck Schumer when he's ready to take it up. Take it up and it's going to be paid for. 
It's a great precedent if Speaker Johnson will stick by his guns. I have a feeling that we're going to see capitulation. There's already talk about a new one that's unfaithful. There you are. Quick as you feel it. It's even time to teach. Bring it up. It's been Pleasure. Speaking of the nearest trifle, truth. You'll find this farm fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soldiers that find their way into the castle, which is to say, well, uh, all of them will see crates of things scattered around the premises. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first, I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to plunder up our little adventure from behind. We also have Speaker Johnson voting for the spending package. Sir Cadwell came through again. The the that crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? Mike Johnson being in charge and the Democrats being in charge. The debt, the deficit this year will be one million dollars to two trillion dollars. Oh no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? I'm trying to work here. Done. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. That's not even funny. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. But here's a problem. The flesh atronites that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronite, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrel. A of it's a simple process, a child of five could do it. Unfortunately, I don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you. Ha <laughs> I like Admin Tone. He's cool. Take them to the laboratory and I'll contact you there. But somebody, I mean, the speaker's gotta be a speaker. He's gotta be a leader of his party, not a capitulator to the other party. Well, what about leadership in the Senate? Who would you like, who would you like to see uh, replace Rich McCoy? Uh, in, 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 Oof.
Body parts won't smell as bad. I can't imagine how the worms get used to this. It's got a nice fucking outfit, man. That's dope. I'm not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to wet your ass. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Bar. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him. 
trying to get him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. He's gonna win in November. I don't care what they do to him. I don't care if they strip him of every single building. With the amulet at his command, Mini Marco Gurren seeks to trap Mola by his essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. I'd like to discuss this today, but it is part of the case. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Wait. Did you feel that? Now, now, Carl. No telling my secrets. To cover up alleged payments to adults. Go your own madness. I will deal with you shortly. Right now, in-depth preview and analysis of George Washington University Law Center. And Fox News Future Journal. Your old position at the foundry is still amazing. Sir, thanks very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I like Cloud Ball a lot. Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do, do, do you think it's wise? Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Love the color of the water here, it's real nice. Quickly, I've opened another portal. Hurry! It's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear that all the gods of Marco will be dealing with this. Of course. I am Abner Tharn. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarco's prisoner and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. What? You son of a bitch! Shot to the face, Abner. A shot to the fucking head, buddy. You lied! But you need it out, so it's all good. Please. Manny Marco wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass. Enough. Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the vestige to know the truth. What's this? The vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige. Until now, you've only known me as the prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen emperor in the tattered robes of a moth queen. Blind as a newborn fortune. I am sorry I deceived you, vestige. You're angry. It is to be expected. I was wrong. Now. My name is Baron Aquilarius. In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't hide with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Melagbal destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine only. You can't fall asleep. You must not blame her. She did what I instructed. She is my sworn protector. But she is also your ally. I have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. We must find sight to harm. Everything depends on that. In this matter, nothing. Abra and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamarco fears him, and with good reason. He can help us, I feel certain of it. He spoke to me. I could not believe it. Will I see him sleep this study? Tested and designed by a to help you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up refreshed. 
Okay, oh, I have three. One more level, I get the ultimate on that. Ooh, that's a good one. I got a more few next time. And I believe still do need to destroy the mass. You will send the fire department to extinguish 80% of the fire. So again, we're going to bring you updates on that UN Security Council meeting throughout the hour once it does get underway. We do have live Fox team coverage for you right now. Lucas Tomlinson is at the White House. Trey Yates is in Tel Aviv. And we will start with CB Cut. She's live at the UN in New York City. And CB, what were we expecting to hear from the U.S. and the other world leaders? Hi, Rafael. Well, Israeli Ambassador Gilad Erdogan is calling on the UN Security Council to designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard as terror and to condemn the attack. But for any resolution to pass out of the council in simple terms, there has to be okay. nobody here. I'm gonna start using these fucking things, okay? I have an Ardon treasure map. It is a conflict between Iran and the rogue Israeli regime. The U.S. must stay away. 
New York City is the backdrop for where the Security Council meeting today. And police sources tell me there are increased patrols at Jewish, Palestinian, and Iranian entry points in the city. The NYP says there are no credible threats. David Hale, former okay. envoy to the Middle East, says he isn't sure a meaningful resolution will come from today's campaign of global leaders. But he says the United States will need to use every opportunity to gather support for its ally. Yeah, I mean, the crowns. Sort of magic. Okay. 
degree of retaliation, we just don't know when that will take place or what it'll look like. We do have some new video to show you here of the Israelis shooting down some of these drones and missiles on the night. This video captured by Israeli fighter jets. They said the majority of the projectiles were actually intercepted outside of Israeli airspace. Those that made it past the jets often were intercepted by Israel's advanced missile defense systems. The Iranians also releasing some new video of their own showing the ballistic missile launches. This was widely seen as one of the worst case scenarios for the Israelis on the upper end of the spectrum that the American Whoa. were preparing for. And concern that this puts Israel in a corner, making officials here feel like they must respond to sending on a message that these types of attacks from their own soil won't be accepted. So the coming days and weeks certainly will be tense here in the middle of the nice. to see if Israel will respond amid new threats of Iranian retaliation if that does take place. Michael? Okay, yeah, trainings, we'll keep watching uh, this very shaky situation live here in Tel Aviv. Thank you very much, Trey. Eric, we're going to call our dog back here at home. All makers of Pepper Hill are now calling for more action against Iran and for more support for Israel. Republican Congresswoman Nancy Pace called the key earlier on Pepper's Law. That's how you do it. Stories. Okay. it would show the clothing survey but okay to find a way to figure that one out Reputation of my property. A hero type who people look up to. And I have a feeling about this. You've done something great, and are probably going to do something greater. Seems like we can help each other. 
Might as well get the free room at the inn. I don't need it. I have like nine houses. No cash. I just need someone to freshen up my image. And my gut tells me you're the one to do that. As long as you're not planning on turning it into a schooner den or an outlaw's refuge, the room is all you. I'm sure you shouldn't have any trouble with the neighbors. If you do, remember death threats are not the way to go. Had a spot of trouble when my last tenant started sending us out. Nope, just make yourself at home. Spruce things up a bit. Honestly, I can't wait to see how you arrange the place. Hopefully, you'll end up with a few less Daedric shrines than another former tenant of mine. Like Zero. Zero is a good man. Oh, what a relief. I can't tell you how hard it is to wash bloodstains off of cobble floors. But that's not even the worst of it. I've had tenants cram their rooms with the wildest things. Mounts, foliage, assistants. I mean, it's an in room. I own this and several other properties throughout town now. It pays to diversify. Of course, that means I've got to look out for a variety of troubles, too. But hey, no one ever said the real estate business was easy. Holy fuck, is it ever tiny? What an embarrassment. Stick to my houses, thanks. Covering it, uh, Alexa McAdams. Thank you very much. All right, Eric. 
Finally, I was beginning to think you'd never show up here. I Glad to see that my calculations and speculations proved correct. I assumed you'd eventually show up here, and as usual, the great mage was right. Now, come closer. We have much to discuss, you and I. I recently received a message that was apparently meant for you, from an oracle. It came to me in a most unsettling manner. Anyway, I determined the chances of meeting you here, and there you are. Saves me the trouble of crafting a message stone. Well, I was about to portal to Eleanor for a proper meal. But since you're here now, we might as well discuss that message. It came from Mari, an oracle of the weird. I usually avoid soothsayers. But Mari possesses a genuine talent. Down to the last syllable. Her predictions are open to interpretation, but her words made me uneasy. A web of trouble. The island that went away. Three dark princes and your name. After that, she stopped responding to my projections. It means you need to find the oracle and make sure she's all right. I've enchanted a small boat to take you to an isolated part of Bleak Rock, near her last known location. And take this medallion of summoning. Use it to call upon me if the need arises. As it so happens, the great mage knows a great deal about a great many things. What else can I tell you before you go? I'm easy. I don't believe that's the word I use. Nevertheless, her prophetic verses tend to be loquacious and hauntingly beautiful. And this one was... Curse. It mentioned trouble of some sort, a vanishing island and dark princes, probably Daedra. Well, trouble could mean almost anything, but nothing good. The island could refer to Arteum, the home of the Civic <coughs> Order. It disappeared more than two years ago. And I have heard rumors about some sort of You'll have to take that up with the Oracle. <coughs> into her vision or whatever it is that spawns her prognostications. If this message came from anyone else, I'd say it was some sort of ruse. Mariv, however, is the genuine article. Oracle Mariv belongs to the Weird, a sisterhood of witches that revere the natural world. Mariv started receiving visions at a young age. Over the years, she has provided the Mages Guild and the Sigic Order with warnings we could act upon. The usual sorts of dire predictions. Most recently, Mari foresaw the deaths of Kings Fulbert and Tamling. She has an unusual knack, an ability to see into other realms as well as into possible futures. It makes her useful to the Sigic Order. Believe me, I tried. Mari has always been a loner even more so than her fellow Wyrrises. She said she had more to do and that you would come to save her. So get to it. Go save the Oracle. And get her to tell you more about her vision. Surely you can puzzle that one out on your own. It will take you exactly where I told it to go. But the magic isn't permanent. Best get a move on. You don't want to be on that tiny boat in the middle of the ocean when the spell wears off. Give you the... What? You think I have a boat in my pocket? That it folds up and fits in your backpack? That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's nearby on the docks. I'll mark the location on your map. I did get the name the Oracle provided me with right, didn't I? I've magic the medallion so that you can use it to call me to your location. Provided the need is great and I'm not otherwise occupied. Be sure to save it for a special occasion. 
is an unambiguous condemnation from the council. Disaster will be your only reward. It and its proxies and partners through a drain to kill the wild. Our goal is to be rescued. I call this Shalador's legacy. The great man himself is the pioneer of this technique. I'm giving a ceasefire in Gaza, your hostage group, as well as serving planetary assistance to Palestinians in need. Thank you, Mr. President. Don't let this theory of non-conjoined pharmaceutical detectors throw you. It's really quite simple. Saying that if there's any attack by Iran on U.S. soil, the strength is a direct, specific language to Iran. Also, try to de escalate the situation with uh, more of this uh, Security Council of uh, Secession, especially when the Israeli ambassador, Yohan Burdas, speaks. Right on. Character Windows. Inventory. Now I know some of you are wondering why I ban Necromancy in my classroom. Trust me, the smell alone is worth the staring test. Our has been the largest sower of state-sponsored terrorism in the world for decades. It's embarrassing that the United Nations has not recognized that. And all of the malign activity that we've seen in the region over the last six months or for decades in Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Never, I repeat, never attempt to draw magic from the environment like this in the field. Disaster will be your only reward. So do you expect the uh, council to, to vote in favor of uh, labeling them a terrorist organization? Or now is an opportunity for us based on this clear breaking of precedent to do so today and frankly going back to my original statement now is the time for the world to refocus its condemnation on the root cause of all of these problems which is Iraq okay well, listen the um Israel's okay. war cabinet trade ministers were putting on this earlier in the newscast Israel's war cabinet this afternoon back. the meeting ended though with no the system of intra-executive hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was developed during the construction of the crystal tower. Harvest map. F4. F5. Okay. Shoot, if I press this. Participation in action. What Israel did is exactly right. That they should be all options on the 
Don't let this theory of non-conjoined pharmaceutical objective fool you. It's really quite good. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to read a statement that makes it like uh, yes, that's just in line with the Well met, Adept. Uh, I believe uh, I may have a task for you. Minister, New members uh, of the lifeblood of the Mages uh, Guild, especially for retrieval missions. I've received word about a possible store of ancient knowledge in a ruin nearby. I'd like you to be. To the north of the city lies the ruin known as Ondor. If you please, investigate the ruin and bring back any interesting books you can find. The ruins of Ondor are a dark and dangerous place. Tread carefully, I am the master of Inkinabu, the keeper of Kelm. I've come here to inspect the local Archimian, the guild's library. I've dedicated my life to expanding our guild's knowledge. Stand it, is actually not directly from Iran. We have ears everywhere, Adept. Like An intelligence report fell into my hands that mentioned these terms. We are neutral in the war, Kassirado. I'm proud of it. That doesn't mean we don't take an interest when the eyes of the Queen notice something. The intelligence arm of the ordinary dominion. Personally loyal to Her Majesty Queen Irene. My understanding is that many of their members used to adventure with her Highness during her wild days. Well, it seems like the Israel has the support uh, of a uh, large part of the international community. I want to ask you about your concerns. It's always a delicious mystery of cracking open a book for the first time. They could be anything from ancient recipes to stew to high arcana, even racy journals penned by Elvin Cook. I called it Shalador's Legacy. The great man himself was the pioneer of this technique. Ah, excellent. You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Bainkin could be such skills. I hope you've nothing pressing. We could be here a while. I can't be stuck in the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Granted, Minimarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Heart. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the soul burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original fire. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious notices, but he is quite so like a monster. We need to find him In the chaos following the soul burst, Sahan stole the amulet of kings and fled the imperial city. We're going to need him. And he is the only one who knows its current location. He was captured by Minimarco's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. Minamarco keeps his most secret documents in a hidden lair of dangerous cultists 
deep within the ground, in the ruins of Wormwood Depths. We must travel there and search for food. Remember, Wormroot Depths Grogwood. I'll meet you inside. If I can endure Titanborn's inane prattle, I can survive your assuredly erudite elucidations. Proceed. Well, if you must pry, I am Chancellor to the Elder Council and Overlord of Midway. But of all my titles, the greatest is my family name, Farm. We are the greatest of the noble houses with seats at the Imperial Court for countless centuries. Politicians, a grossly inadequate word to describe our duties and our legacy. The Tharns have a storied history of advising kings and emperors that can be traced back to the first era. We understand the ebb and flow. Pleasure. I want to say it's sort Don't sound so smug about it. This is a setback, nothing more. By allying with you, I will liberate the Empire from Menemarko's grip. The Empire is all that matters to me. I will do what I must to ensure its survival. Okay. Sure. So do they get this? Sure. All those who support the laws of God. Well, 
Marcus for support of the radical Islamic terrorists in Tehran. And Marcus is with us, founder and chairman of the Brando Center. Let's take you off. For now. I just don't want to see him. Not yet. Good. Now to test it out. Good. Okay. Boat. Okay, there's the boat. One quest at a time. Fucking map, I gotta move. Combat targeting camera interface mini map. Five is the housing panel.
Yeah, Eric, we're keeping in a close eye on developments in the Middle East, of course, and of course at the United Nations, we will bring you updates as they come in. Meantime, border officials are sounding the alarm about the number of gotaways who are slipping into our country. That report from El Paso, Texas is coming up next. Inventory in sight. Okay. I gotta do my Ritz. Where's the board? Here it is. Okay, there's three. Where's the other ones? Six total, I think. Seven with jewelry. Here they are. Okay. Normal iron great sword. Normal. Normal iron great sword. Normal iron sabatons. Here they are. Iron. High elf. We're going to have to buy more of these soon. Craft. Normal iron gauntlets. Craft. Okay. Go back. Deconstruct what I don't need. Back. Start with weapons. So great sword. To research it. Back. 
Holding station. First, let's deconstruct all my shit I don't need. Okay. And. 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 Normal homespun shoes. Alchemy pit. <laughs> Preston Glove of Health with Ta. Excellent. Okay. It's a good spot. We'll take a pause for the cause, guys. I gotta take my dog out anyways. I'll be right back here. Recording again, so don't worry about it. Let's see. Alright. Peace out. Thank you support of United Way. 